What's up YouTube, Lazy Llama here, and here we are back with some Llama Chunk in the old school RuneScape. Once again, our, our one chunk man here in the Wizard Tower chunk. This episode, we are rolling a new chunk. Just saying, it's gonna happen. We're, we're gonna go till we get there. Um, I also wanted to give a quick thank you to you guys once again for all the support on the last video. If you guys are liking the series, definitely take a second to subscribe if you haven't already. Throw a like out and keep commenting, guys. I love the feedback. I love hearing how you guys are um, liking the, the adventure. And, you know, if you guys are running Chunkman of your own, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, and that is 49 crafting coming in here. All right, so I got 20 pulls here. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got the pin to throw in. <clears throat> let's see what we can get. 20 pulls. Let's see what luck we can get today. I like the death runes, like the nature runes. Cannot complain about either of those for sure. These talismans, though, I will complain about. I'm not a fan of uh, of these. We don't need to get any bigger collections of these. Uh, it looks like we're just getting some runes here, which is to be expected. I'd love the Abyssal Pearls. As many of these we can get, the better. I'd love to complete this set. Be so sweet. We're going to have to think of a color as well when we get there to, to dye the whole set. But it doesn't look like anything is coming in here at all. And that's 71 rune crafting. Big number. We're getting up there. All right, we got a crafting level getting ready to come in here, and there's 50 crafting. Six more till we're locked here, which is gonna be uh, gonna be rough. All right, we got 30 pulls this time. Hope you guys are still enjoying seeing these pulls with me. I like going through and doing them all. I could definitely do this different where we kind of fast forward the pulls if you guys want. Uh, but I think it's exciting to kind of go through and see what we pull. You know, only be here for so long. Um, anyways, so might as well show it while we got it. Uh, so runes looking looking good. We're really stacking up some runes. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these like mind runes. I don't know if splashing will be worth it. Um, I don't have, I guess, the air runes yet to really splash a ton. But we're gonna have so many mind runes. It's probably gonna be worth splashing at some point. Uh, man, these talismans are killing me. Really not liking them. Good stack of natures there. Intricate pouch is always good. Come on, 30, you gotta give us something else, though. We're just gonna get the intricate pouch. I think that is gonna be the... Ooh, okay. We have one of those already, but we'll take it. And, uh, nothing. Uh, let's see what's in this pouch real quick. And... Okay, well, it is what it is. All right, and we got a mining level coming in here. Big one. 45 mining. Gotta love it. That's 72 rune crafting. We're moving up. All right, we got 31 pulls here. Really hoping for something, some little excitement here. I like the chaos runes, we'll take that. Really looking for bloods and deaths, though, I think the most. And speaking of that, there's some blood runes. More chaos. Mine runes, again, I think we're gonna probably splash those at some point. Might wait till I get a shop, though, um, or just start crafting more airs. Uh, but may end up just splashing those on something if I'm busy. Okay. That's something we also have already. Got both of those. The normal talismans suck. A lot of runes. I think there's like one of every rune we can get from here. <clears throat> Almost. We're missing earth. Ah, that baits me every time. I don't know what the chance of that is, but we get that quite a bit. There's our earth runes. More cosmic talismans. Not looking like we're getting much from here. I can tell you, I'm getting really tired of Guardians of the Rift. I think we're going to need to take a break for a bit. All right, there is the Mythal Chain body, which is sweet. That is a goal completed. We need that. That's 45 HP. And here's one of my buddies just saying hi outside my junk. So, what's up, Ty? That's 63 magic. And there's 33 strength. We're just training some strength while we're way have HP. 73 rune crafting. All right, we got 29 pulls. That's it for the night. Let's get this pin in here and, and pull these. Couldn't stay away here from here for too, too long. So, blood runes, we'll take them. Really looking for these pearls to keep going up. We're getting pretty close. Intricate pouches are sweet. Um, we'd love fire runes as well, so we can make sure we keep Alkin if that's what we choose to do for magic XP. Um, although we really don't need much more magic XP. We're getting pretty close to the level required. That's a huge stack of fire runes. Um, definitely won't complain. Uh, getting low here without too, too much. There's the normal needle. Not much. Body runes, probably the most pointless thing we can get. More fire runes, which is awesome. Um, that's 
pretty good stack of bloods too. Been alking those a little bit, so. We'll probably start saving them soonish though. And that's looking like it's about it. What do we get from the pouch? Catherine's. All right, and there's 64 magic rolling on in here. 30 defense. I think we're going to be done with defensive casting at this point. I might regret that, but. All right, we got a mystery box, and it is. Oh my gosh! Myth freaking skimmy. That's going to make this so much better. 65 magic. There it is. Just waiting for it. One more level to go until we are all set with that. There's 34 strength, which is going to give me a new max hit on attack. So I think I'm going to switch over to attack now. 33 prayer. All right, we got a maze finishing up here. Let's see what we can get for some rewards. Anything that's going to be helpful. Coal. Not bad. We'll take coal. That could be useful. Could also doom us, but. And it is coming in here any second. The big level that we've been waiting for. Oh, didn't quite get it. This should give it to us right here. Wow, this is very delayed. <laughs> there it is, 66 magic. Now we just need soul runes to get this task done. And we'll be done with magic in this chunk. All right, so we just hit 30 attack not too long ago. So I'm on this big grind for chicken at this point. Um, we need to be able to fight these wizards. Hey, we're getting some cooking levels here. That's 27. I've already gotten a couple here. Um, we're going to keep just grinding. I'm not going to show you every cooking level. We're going to get a lot of them. So We have, it looks like, 133 cooked chicken ready to go to fight these wizards. Let's do it. 36 attack coming in. Big grinds. And that would be 39 attack. Getting close to the 40. 52 crafting and 500 total level, which is pretty massive for the account. All right, so we have a quick 20 pulls here to do. Should be pretty easy. I'll take the Law Runes, Chaos, nice. Air Runes, I love them. Love the Air Runes. I'm starting to value those more and more until we get a, you know, a chunk that allows us to buy, buy Air Runes. We're really going to need a bunch of these. Didn't realize how many we'd actually need to worry about saving, but... Doesn't look like we're getting much other than, geez, these freaking Talismans. Mind runes, more mind runes, no good runes. Wow, this is some bad luck. Low stack of bloods. Okay, another one at least. Little pearls, wow, that was bad. And that's 74 rune crafting. We are getting up there, that is a massive rune crafting level. All right, we got a quick 10 pulls here to do. Um, not expecting much, but the last bit wasn't wasn't very good and I just need to get something here. I can't, uh, can't save on these any longer. I'm getting real itchy here to <laughs> to get something. I have a hard time saving here sometimes. Ah, oh, man, nothing. Alright, I swear I get up to about this 30, 32 mark and I just I have to pull. I can't save up. I want to save the 50 so bad. I just, I struggle with it. Um, let's see if we can get anything. We, we deserve a little bit of luck here. I know we got spooned on that, uh, that D spear, but we need something here. The pearls are looking very healthy. We'll take that. I'd love to keep getting more of those. Intricate pouch, amazing. Definitely will not complain. Another one. <laughs> Great. <laughs> not gonna complain. I needed a little bit of uh, at least chance here in my life to get something useful. 18 more. Uh, bloods. Okay, okay. I mean, you've seen it at this point. It's pretty much the same. You know, not really expecting too much else out of this. Like we've seen most items. Um, you know, we could pull the pet, which would be sweet. Um, lantern would be amazing. Love to get the lantern, especially if we're going to be stuck here for a while. Um, would be really, really good. <clears throat> Let's see here what we're looking at. Intricate pouch time. Let's go. I think we're... Yeah, we're good to buy this as well. Sweet. We'll buy the rope top, which is awesome. It's going to look awesome. Yeah. Looks so much better. Just need the hat now. Already 25 in. Let's do these pouches. No freaking way. That is insane. The, the D med and the D spear are already done. We just need the soul runes. And we're we're done with the guardians that You are kidding. That is some absolute spoonage, and I don't even know what to say. But we're done with Guardians of the Rift. We, I mean, for now, we're going to be stuck back here once we have 56 crafting, but we're not there. 
We're, we're not doomed to 85 craft or 85 rune crafting yet. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I'm so ecstatic. All right, well, we got the soul rune, so let's get this casted as well and get this done. And achieved. And I've spotted another wizard chunk man, so I just wanted to come say hi to Mr. Wizard Isle. See what's up with him and check him out. That's going to be 40 attack. Chickens are uh, are definitely a grind here, but definitely get XP from them. And there is 30 cooking. There it is. 30 cooking. And we got the mime gloves and the mime legs. 35 prayer. 41 attack. Shout out to this dude for stopping in and saying what's up. All right, and there's 45 attack. I also just want to let you guys know I am doing some absolute work putting in here grinding. I'm just cutting a lot of these levels from you. I see a lot of them as pointless, so I'd rather just skip a bunch and show the bigger milestones. 50 HP coming in. 35 cooking. Told you we get a lot of cooking XP. I wouldn't be surprised if we're not close to 50. I mean, that's 20 fire making. There's 37 prayer. Gives us protection from magic, but we don't have an altar in here that we can pray at, so sadly it's pointless. All right, and there is, wow, the best in slot hat in the game. Love this hat, it looks so good. I don't know why, everyone seems to use it, but it just, it looks so good. And come on. Big old number coming in here. Where is it? 50 attack, absolutely massive. Only 10 more to go until we will be holding that D spear in our hands. And we'll have to get that defense done. This is painful so far, it's definitely painful. Just want to give a quick shout out to a longtime viewer of the channel, as well as a Discord member, Merlin over here. He came to stop by and visit, so uh, power leaf, it's Merlin. Um, but decided to pop by and say hi, so uh, just give him a quick shout out. All right, and the bee gloves. We'll take it. And here's 39 prayer. I also want to give a quick shout out to this drainer guy. He's been pretty sweet, awesome to talk to so far. He's another chunk man that started in drainer. 55 attack, and there's 40 prayer. Absolutely massive level. Three more to go till we get all the protection prayers, which will be awesome. Still need an altar though. 40 cooking, that's a pretty big level. I don't know if we'll quite make it to 50, but uh, definitely a good level. And finally we get a lamp on the account, which is awesome. I am going to use it on agility here. However, um, the changes to the agility hasn't happened at this point in the video yet. It comes up very, very soon where you can train on drainer. So I will stop using lamps on agility soon, but it's painful. Um, saying that, we uh, we have another lamp here. So uh, yeah, painfully, we are going to spend it on agility as well um, and end up switching away from that shortly. And of course, when I got a lamp, who would have guessed that the next three things you would have gotten are all lamps, and I spend them all on agility, painfully. And um, yeah, I had to say this though, because otherwise you guys would be screaming. And um, yeah. And there we go with that 58 attack. All right, so now that we're really coming up here on the end of this chunk, fairly soon our goals are shrinking. I want to take a second and talk about our rollable chunks and what we're looking for, what we're looking at, what we want, what we don't want. Let's just pop right into it. Drainer. Uh, really just need some basic skill requirements there. Um, there will be a little bit of forestry involved. It's a pretty easy chunk. I'm really looking forward to it. It gets us one chunk off of being able to train agility. Um, we just need to roll north again of drainer. And uh, yeah, I'm really liking that chunk. Hoping to roll that one first, to be honest. Lumbridge, it's gonna give us the basic 60 woodcutting, fire making, fudging grind. Um, that's not too bad. However, it does have um, some sheep that wander into the corner of the sheep pen and we do have a spinning wheel So technically we have a crafting method which will require us to get 56 crafting Which then requires us to get 85 rune crafting to make the pouch. I don't want lumbridge <laughs> It's not a chunk we're looking for um, Varrock it's gonna be like a 30 range. I think requirement uh, pretty easy chunk We'll have access to staffs and rune shops not that we need the rune shop really but the staffs will be really, really nice to have. Um, I would love to roll this. This would probably be my second favorite to roll. Um, definitely down for it. Uh, Falador. So this is an interesting one. It would definitely give us a 60 fire making grind, um, as well as we'd have to get a mithril axe and hue logs from mole. Um, which that's how we need 60 fire making is that we can get u logs from mole. So we need to burn them. We wouldn't need to get the wood cutting level for it, but we'd need that. Um, there's really not a whole ton of other grinds there. Some minor stuff that would show up there um, as of now. However, 
mole would be the problem as we don't have an altar for prayer so we can't have overheads um you may also be wondering how are we going to do mole without a light source we do have access to a light source it would send us back to guardians of the rift to go for the lantern because at this point we're done with guardians of the rift and we don't have the lantern so we're going to need to go there um during that grind there's a chance that we hit 56 crafting and then we're stuck till 85 rune crafting at bare minimal you know whether we get the lantern before that or not it doesn't matter um which definitely, uh, that's quite the big goal, and I really want to be done with Guardians of the Rift for a while. So, I would consider Falador one of our bigger, rougher chunks. Um, again, not having an altar, there's potential we might have to backlog the actual mole kills and drops. Um, if we do have to do that, I'll still get all of the requirements, as well as, you know, the lantern. We'll, we'll definitely get AKC on him. I just don't know if we'll be able to, you know, kill him enough to get, uh, the Mithril Axe and U-Logs and there might be some other stuff we need from him but uh the stuff what we need from him may not happen it may be too many kills that it just doesn't seem possible without a way to regenerate our prayer unless we're constantly suiciding i thought about this one a lot you know talked actually to some other chunkers what their thoughts are a lot of people say in this case they would backlog it if they deem it not possible we could always make an exception to leave the chunk and go you know go to teleport to lumbridge and you know Pray or something. Hopefully we get something like Lumbridge first, so then we have an altar before we go to Valley. But if we roll it, we'll probably end up backlogging the mole. Um, and then Camelot, it's literally a free chunk. We don't have any tasks there, I don't think. Um, if so, it's something very simple, like maybe starting a quest or something. There's nothing really to do in Camelot, so that'd be a free chunk. Would it get us over on that side of the map, which would be kind of cool. Possibly getting some interesting chunks um, from there, but it itself isn't really anything. And where is the beekeeper hat? Not bad. We're getting pretty close to completing that outfit, I believe. All right, we met another chunker here coming into our chunk. He just unlocked this one, Mr. Warm here. Um, I forget what chunk he started in, but uh, he's uh, just popping in and saying hi. And here we go, another lamp coming in, uh, which is awesome. It's going to put us two more away from uh, two agility. Um, at this point, the update did hit. However, I'm so close to two agility. We're going to pop the next couple lamps on and just hit it. I can't not waste it. It'd be such a waste. I feel like not to um, at least at least get the level. And that is going to be 55 HP. All right. We got the big milestone on the edge of things right here that everybody is when waiting for. I'm very, very excited to, to make this one happen. <clears throat> if we could actually hit and there it is 60 attack we can hold dragon weaponry for anyone who doesn't know what we have waiting down in our little dungeon downstairs that would be a dragon weapon actually we have it right here um but let's put this on let's actually achieve this let's let's wear this uh wear this dragon weapon here it comes oh it's so good it's so good. All the XP and all the combat styles. It's definitely going to slow our XP an hour in one specific style down. Um, for, I, I think, attack and strength, or maybe just strength even. I forget what it can do, but it does train defensively. It's shared on everything else. Yeah, it's just defensive. Uh, so it'll be decent for training defense. However, our strength, we won't really be able to train up with it. That would be nice to be able to do, but we'll take it. Yeah, the shared XP for the first three combat and then defensive um, stance. So... Something nice. We also got a little spec. Doesn't do anything. You can't attack while it's going off. So sadly, I don't know of a use for the spec for us currently. But uh, yeah, it's a. It's got to be so awesome to have this thing. All right, and we have level. Where is it? Thirty-five strength coming in. I'm training on uh, shared combat right now, just to get another max hit real quick. Um, once we get the max hit with this weapon, we'll be good. We want to be able to train on defensive with this max hit. We'll, we want to be able to hit nines while training defense. So I think we need 36 strength. It's only one more level to go, and that'll be happening. And just like that, very quickly, if we could could hit it. There it is, 36. That's going to allow us to train over on defensive and uh, hit nines. So that'll be pretty sweet. And that's going to be 35 defense coming in. These levels are going to come so much quicker, I feel like, than attack. 40 defense coming in here. It's definitely quicker. Um, it's not going to be super quick, though. Um, but it's definitely going to be save, save some hours. And there's another lamp to go on agility. We only needed one more to hit that level 2 agility, which is uh, pretty awesome. 
that's 45 cooking coming in. We're not going to quite make it to 50, but uh, hey, 45 off chicken is pretty sweet. And 43 prayer, absolutely massive. This gives us all our overheads. We just need an altar now, and we can do some stuff. That's going to be 45 defense. All right, and that is our last lamp needed for level 2 agility. At this point, we will be going into Hunter with any lamps we get. Um, may regret going into Hunter. Um, I don't know if Piro Piro is great to unlock or, or whatnot, but a lot of people are saying it's good to go for. So we're going to go for it. I didn't look too much into the grinds that that would unlock for us, but uh, I know it can definitely do a lot. But I don't know what else I would, would you know, pump this into. I think I'd keep going in agility, if anything else. So I think... Uh, I think we're happy with that. Level 2 agility. Alright, and that is 50 defense rolling in. Only 10 more levels to go. And that should be a couple levels here. Once we get out of here and make fun of the cat. Come on, where's the XP? There it is. That's jumping us all the way up to 10, almost 11 fishing. And there's... 43 defense we are halfway to 60 this isn't too bad it's definitely a lot better and you know more exciting on the uh, the defense grind than the attack grind was all right we got our first lamp here for our hunter skill we're gonna commit to it we're definitely gonna go in 10 xp we'll take it 55 defense there it is what a massive level these are the last that's the last cooked chicken we're gonna do right there i'm gonna start doing bones to bananas here um i'm tired of cooking chicken it slows the grind down so much i should, probably should have been doing this for a while now um but we're good on prayer so let's worry about food more than anything and here is another lamp for our hunter skill coming on in here these bones to bananas are also doing wonders and that's 45 prayer Alright, and that's the Mine Top and Mine Boots, which is pretty awesome. And that was the level there, kind of just missed it, but 60 defense. What a massive level. We can wield defensive dragon armor now. So cool. Alright, we got two goals left, and one is to craft this diamond we got from Molly, uh, I believe that's where we got it, which, there it is, 43 crafting, goal done as well as wearing this D-bed. So sweet. We are done with goals. Let's roll a chunk. All right, here we go. Such a big moment has led up to this right here. Let's see what chunk we get. And we are looking like we're going to Varak.